evidently told her suspects, as we do, that Clayton or Duvall is the real murderer, and he intends to use that information to force Clayton to play ball with him. You're right, son. That's exactly what Duvall will do. They're determined to stand on that clause in the Acadian Pact. We could beat them to it if we only knew where to start operations. Well, maybe we soon will know. If Napoleon's hunch is right. Miss Jenny, this is the place that where I was born. My fall rented it from Mr. Steve's fall. Now, that old mystery mud hole that I was telling you about is right over there a ways. I hope this isn't a wild goose chase, Napoleon. Just a hunch, Miss Jenny, just a hunch. Ah, well, here's this old mud hole showing up, Miss Jenny. It has an acid smell. That ain't all about this old mud hole that I can remember. One time, my hat fell in it, and my mom couldn't clean it. And they'd taken that hat and threw it in the fire, and it burned for about two weeks. My pa covered up this old hole and told us to keep away from it. Might have stick it in it, Miss Jenny. Hand me that old can. I want to show this to Steve. Look, Mr. Steve, I'm going to strike a match to this and watch what happens. It produces a terrific heat and has a penetrating nitric odor. The mite on that pan will burn for a week. Where did this stuff come from? It's on your property, Mr. Langtree, from what looks like a small mud hole right near the old Navarre shack. What oh, strange. I never noticed it. That's because my father covered that old hole up. He said the hole in that thing runs right straight through to the devil's kitchen, and he warned us to stay away from it, and we sure did. Steve, do you suppose it could be that mysterious nitrolene stuff? I believe it is. And Napoleon can show us where to operate. And yeah, we can forget about Heinrich's pesky old mask. Yeah, but the first thing I'm going to do is go into town and give myself up to the police. Oh, but Steve, they'll put you in jail again. I'll have to take that risk. Hiding on this boat is just as bad, and I don't enjoy being a fugitive. Well, come along, then. Let's get going and get it over with. That's why we have reason to believe that Steve is the victim of a large-scale land grab. All I'm asking is to be let out on bail. I'll appear whenever you want me. All the evidence you got is circumstantial. If you'll just give me a chance, I'll prove my innocence. Okay, Steve. I never did figure you were the murderer anyway. But mind you, Captain, I'm holding you directly responsible. Oh, good enough, sir, yes. Well, just one thing more. I want to run down to New Orleans for a couple of days. Yeah? What do you want to go there for? We've learned that our property at Duval's Landing contains a very valuable product. I want to bring back a busload of skilled workmen so we can start operations immediately. That's the only way we can beat Toller and save this territory so our own people can benefit. Okay, son. I'm giving you plenty of rope. I only hope you don't hang yourself. I'll be all right. Thank you, sir. Hey, let's get going, Steve. Oh, so long, DeMont. Goodbye, Captain. I'll go down to the bank and get some money. Now, you and Jug hightail it for New Orleans right away. Jimmy, you'll drive you. Steve Langtree's out on bail. What? I thought you said Langtree. I can't possibly understand how he ever came out of that crash alive. Well, he did. And he's already on his way to New Orleans for a busload of workmen and equipment. Workmen? What for? Well, he's not bringing them here to attend a birthday party. You better wake up and get busy. And I'm getting out of town while the getting's good. I've got it. Somehow they found out where to drill for that nitrolene. Hello, operator. I want to put in a long-distance call to New Orleans. Hello. Oh, hello, Mr. Toller. How are you all? Okay, boss, I'll take it down. Langtree? Fine, I got that. Yeah, I'll keep tabs on both bus stations. I know guys on both outfits. Sure, I can fix it up. Don't worry about a thing. <laughs> Bye. Oh, 
how about our rigging and equipment? I took care of that by phone. The supply house promised they'd have it on the spot as soon as we arrived with the men. Yeah? Oh, hello, Bill. That fellow Langstreet you told me about was here. He's chartered a bus. Leaving 7 o'clock in the morning. Good. Lewis wants to take a trip up into that country. Put him on to drive it, will you? Thanks. We ought to make it easy by tonight. That's what I'm counting on. These men can get a good night's rest and start work first thing in the morning. Jenny must be back at the landing by now. Everything work out all right? Yes. Steve's on his way with the men. They'll be here tonight. Good. Well, I have to go to town and find room for a couple dozen two-fisted men. Want us to help you? No. You'd only be in the way. <laughs> Sure thing. No, sure girl. Is she? Okay. Are you sure this is the right road? Absolutely. We didn't come to any country like this on our way to New Orleans. Oh, relax, brother. I'm taking a shortcut. What's the matter? Sounds like engine trouble. Just as I thought, the gas line is clogged. How long will it take to fix? Oh, it's hard to tell. Ever see such luck? Steve Langtree can get his busload of men as far as Clinton, but in case he does, you and Schauber better get over there and wait. Clinton's the last town the bus goes through before reaching Duval's Landing, is that right? That's right. It'll be our last chance to stop it, so you better keep on your toes. All right. Go on, get started. If my men can't stop Langtree and his men from getting here, we might as well throw that Acadian pact out the window, because he'll start drilling on his own property. We can't stop him from doing that. Then what can we do? Don't worry. I'm prepared to meet any emergency. We've been here two hours. It doesn't take that long to fix a gas line. You're right. He's had time to build a new bus. Come on, let's see what he's doing. He's gone. That clogged gas line was just a gag to hold us up here. I'll drive the rest of the way in.
take it easy. The brakes won't hold. That dirty rat fixed us up good. Emergency won't work either. on this upgrade. Anybody here know anything about brakes? Yeah, know all about them. Well, get busy on them as soon as this wreck comes to a stop. Sure will, fella. Doesn't look like we'll make Duval's landing on time. We certainly won't at this rate. And I hope Steve gets back tonight, as he figured. We should be here by supper time. I'm setting a place for him. You'd be good and hungry after a trip like that. Here's the bus. Yeah, you better phone the vault. Yeah. How about a five-minute stretch, boys? We're stopping here for gas. Okay, gang, let's go. That's a good idea. Duval's Landing, 847. Duval speaking. This is Block at Clinton. Lantry just pulled in with a busload of men. He did, eh? You have your orders. Get on that bus and stop them at all costs. Right. Be in the car ready to follow the bus when it pulls out. Okay. I'll go in the back and take a snooze. Okay, Jug. 